right, so <laughs> I'm filthy. And we are here with Mr. J. Um, we've already done, ooh, a good 35 minutes of round pen work, free lunging online and then free lunging. Um, I can't quite get my new pivot to work. Just got it, so that's why I didn't film it because you would not have really seen us. There was a lot of amazing moments. Makes me think I need a GoPro so I can just film all his expressions and how much he's trying to release and let go. It's just amazing, all the little subtleties. <laughs> There's a good looking chew. I must be speaking the truth, huh? Where's that licking chew? We had two good poops in here. That's a great sign that he is letting go and releasing. Um, every horse is different. If you have a lot of um, manure, a horse is going to the bathroom constantly, yes, they're stressed. And of course, if it's diarrhea, which I think we've seen once with you. But for a horse that's so tight and closed off and deep within himself, it's just like a person being constipated. They're, everything is just tight. So it's good to see that he released two really excellent manures. All right, so we're now gonna cool down and I'm gonna get on his beautiful sweaty body without a pad, because that's just where we're at. I really don't want any um, girthing or saddle triggers. We haven't even fit his Western saddle. Um, I just don't want any, tr any of those triggers. I really want him to experience me um, and connect to me. I don't need any, I don't need anything dangerous happening. All right, so <clears throat> let me, real quick before uh, I go get the rope halter, it was really cool what we just did though, because he's still struggling with hooking on and joining me and checking out in the free lunge or online. Online, every horse gets it, right? They're like, I know you're holding me and you have control over the situation, but your real test is at Liberty. Your real test is bridalless. So um, at Liberty, he's, hmm, he's not even, he's maybe 75% today. So good licks and chews on that one. I speak the truth. Now we don't lick anymore. As soon as I grab your face, you tighten up. So we had to really work through um, him just choosing to check out and go back into old patterns so that I know today getting on is gonna be a lot better than the, the other day when we filmed. So we filmed two days ago and um, it was better than the other day we filmed last week. So this will be my third time on him, suppling him, backing him, and I'm gonna ask him to go forward. And I feel really good about it because we really worked through some um, tough triggers there and built trust and confidence. So I feel more successful and safe. So hooking on is a really big deal. Hooking on and joining. And if you guys notice with my personal horses or the horses that, that I've worked with for a while, you know, they just pretty much, they either go to sleep and they're content waiting for me to engage with them again or they follow me like puppy dogs. Jay's still pretty tight, pretty worried. Like, should I go, should I stay? And so we just, we worked through that just now. I'm like, no, keep coming, you know? Even though I'm hitting the ground heavy with the whip, it's, it's, I'm still grounded, it's me. The whip's not coming after you. So, you know, make the difference between all of that, which is still really hard for him. That's just huge triggers. Good boy. Another reason why I love to work this way too, and without a saddle, is it keeps you really honest. I don't need to get hurt, guys, right? Shoot. One more head blow and I'll probably be dead, to be honest. I've had so many in my past concussions. Pretty creepy to feel your brain moving around your head <laughs> with just the slightest nod. Um, all that fluid, really scary. So I don't need that. This keeps me really honest. And you go really freaking slow and you learn to pay attention to everything. It's not my agenda, it's not my client's agenda. Um, what's going on? What's the process that's gonna keep us feeling safe, both of us? Okay, dude, come on, handsome. Let's see if we are in front of, yep, the mounting block's right there behind me. So I'll try and figure out this thing tomorrow when Sabrina's with me. I'm gonna get a little closer. Let's get you out of the way, Bubba. <clears throat> a little closer than the last time. 
Yep, you're good. Keep licking and chewing. Stop breathing heavy. I have not attacked you. Look at that head. Look at that eye. You're fine. I just brought the energy up. He has a hard time being corrected now. Now I'm starting to correct him lightly. Like, nope, come on, you gotta come to me. Nope, you don't wanna come to me, then out you go. I'm gonna ask you again, you wanna come to me? In the free lunge, nope, then out you go. And even when he stops and wants to come and is stuck, I'm gently tapping him with the whip and he's still flying off the handle. So I'm like, you gotta work through it, dude. It's just a gentle push. It's not a beating. So he's just really gotta learn that difference and he's ready to before he just you keep you push a horse too fast and they're just going to hunker down and shut down even more and that's where a lot of people get into a lot of trouble because of that lack of experience that lack of feeling timing so they just keep pushing that horse and you'll ruin them you'll you'll shut them down even more and a lot of that's happened with him already it certainly happened with zor my big frisian sport horse come on jay come on I need you to pay attention yep Yep, come on, take the energy up. Nothing's gonna happen. Yep, you gotta get used to this. Not gonna get in trouble. Yeah, Zora was so shut down as a four-year-old when I first got him. Good, we're doing a lot more lips and chews, aren't we guys? Gosh, this is like our fourth or fifth one since I turned the camera on. We just, and they're big licks. We had to get Mateo to do some big licks. Everybody is so unique. Mateo, is one of those few horses that actually gets a really droopy lower lip when he's stressed and he stays in that soft zone he doesn't get that real hard eye like jj gets but mateo is a third of jj's age basically he hasn't had the rough brutal training um for 10 plus years come on or handling or riding come on come on not good enough come on yep you can Catch your shallow breathing. Come on, I need you to be with me. Yes, I need you to participate. I need you to be present. Present. What happens when our horses aren't present? They go into triggers. Stay with me. Good boy. Yep, good boy. I know. This, come on. There's your correction. Come on. Yep. <clears throat> come on. There's your correction. Come on. Stay with me. Yep, stay with me. Yep, you're okay. That's it for a correction, dude. Yeah, that's all it is. Just keeping you present because you want to check out and freeze because you're so scared. It's awful. I think every ranch horse is like this. I mean, I can see picture after picture and I, they all look the same to me and I've worked with so many. Okay, come on, yep. Yep, because what's gonna happen when I go to get on and I need you to go forward and you're, and you're all tight and stuck? What you worried about? What you worried about? What's over here? The rain, the right rain, left rain, right rain. Me, same me, same energy. I'm just a little more assertive today. Just pushing you a little bit more today. Okay? Yeah, just so you get comfortable with this. And you trust that the push is not gonna be negative. Feels negative, but it's not. Good boy. So yeah, our ground was the best it's ever been today, but look at our pickup is bad. His butt's way out there. Just so you know, I'm talking into my phone, <laughs> my staff. I know the gator is going to be started. How did he get out? They knocked the gate over. Like over? They, off? They keep picking it off of the little Because they're playing and they're figuring out how to open that gate. That's nice. Oh, the horses are just too smart, guys. They just took the gate off and let themselves into each other's paddocks. That's what goes on around here. When you get horses to think and be independent and confident and happy and happy, Jay. We've got happy horses. You're good. You're good. So yeah, he's been pushed today, um, as you guys can see. And that's good, because he's present. So that just says, shows you that the last video we took of me getting on two days ago he was very subdued he was a little less reactive but probably just as checked out in some ways come on yeah it's me what do you think is going to happen when i get on you what did they do to you when they got on you hmm
So I'm gonna get down and recreate what I think he thinks or possibly happened to him. Come, 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 come. Just move around. He's not being punished. Come on, move. Think and move. Think and move. Yep, think and move. Good boy. Yep, good. Good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I got gotcha. you. Relax. Relax. There. Relax. 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 Yeah, just relax into it. So horses like this that have been so manhandled and confined um, with horrible bits and handling all around here, roped, thrown to the ground, tied up. I mean, he's petrified of me taking the flight zone again. Okay, your right eye is really bad too, boo-boo. Come on over here, come. Come, come on, yep, come on, yep, can't shut down, can't check out. Yep, right here he's flinching. The whole time I'm doing this on the right side, he's flinching every time I touch his belly. Why? Because he's used to being kicked and spurred. You're good, you're good, you're good. But I do want him to keep moving. So it is the same cue. Yep, come on. Come on, Jay. You gotta look at me. Yep, you gotta look at me. Yep, good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Yep, you're good. Good. Yep. If he can stop while I do that, that tells me he's getting more comfortable and confident with me. So you might call it desensitizing, but that's not what my goal is. My goal is to change his experience with touching and pressure and in all the areas that he's used to be negative. There. Yeah. What? There's no, nothing happened. Everything you thought that could happen did not happen. Everything that happened in the past that you thought was going to happen did not happen. So that's where as a rehab specialist, I actually create the stress without the trauma meaning I'm not gonna beat the horse or abuse them or put them through what they think they're gonna go through, but I'm gonna create, recreate that stressor, that trigger, and then help them work through it. And there's many ways they have to work through it. It's not just the physical, there's lots of things going on, especially in the nervous system. Yeah, there you go. And so one of the major areas I'm looking for is when I can put that kind of pressure on him and that stressor, it shouldn't be, eventually it won't be, and I recreate that trigger in his mind, that memory, that he can start to work through it himself, which is basically self-regulating. Where's his emotional agility through all of this? And, um, and he's, you know, is he, when is he gonna start thinking and staying connected and remaining relaxed? Isn't that the goal? That this doesn't trigger him anymore, right? Yeah, that it's just whatever. And we've done a lot of that the whole time. All right, handsome. Let's get back in front of the camera. Come on, boo. Good boy. Come here. Yeah, come on. Good boy. <laughs> Thank you. He's still breathing. A little shallow. Wow. Let's get closer. I think we were up here. Come here, boo. I can't get on him on the right side. But I, this is good that I could grab his face. That's always a huge issue. Now, I will not mount him on the right. Not yet. I do dismount on the right. So let's just move him around. Yeah, he's really, come on, frozen and petrified on the right side. Come on, boo. Yep, you're good. Oh, oh look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me. Yeah, I did not beat you. Perfect example of recreating a stressor. I didn't beat you. Nothing bad happened. Yep, nothing bad. And I'm consistent with this. It might look like I just bring it out of the blue because he gets so startled, but he gets this handling all the time because I'm always paying attention to when he's just checking out. Good. Of course, I don't want to lose my brand new teeth or break my nose. Let me keep my head over here. All right, you feeling better about everything? Come on up here, love. Come on, stay with me. Don't check out. Oh, I still go, boy. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, baby. Good boy. So, good boy. Good. Thank you, Jay. Totally different, isn't it? Just like it was before. 
so he was very thoughtful in stepping closer to me and giving me permission and not kicking his butt out or being tight. to gauge it, see your progress. You go so much slower and then build up. These guys, man, you gotta hit it hard because they just, the wall is so thick for them. The emotional mental wall. You ready? Oh, you got good. Well, that's a good trust if you were gonna get that. I'll help you. Good crack in your neck of tension. The neck of tension, the wall of tension. The good crack. So yeah, he was trying to get a fly, and that takes a lot of trust to take his eyes off of me, even though that eye would have been on me, his right eye. Still, it's huge, guys. Every little thing is huge. And if you don't pay attention, and most people don't give a shit training horses. They just throw the saddle on, freaking manhandle this horse, bend him all around, and think, oh wow, because he gives to all the yielding and the pressure, we're gonna be just fine. Good boy. Oh, we are. Oh, that was a big crack right there. That's how tight you are. You had a big crack in his upper um, wither shoulder area and then as soon as I sat on you, I adjusted your back, didn't I? Well, that's a good thing. If you, let's see if they can see your eyeball. Yeah, that's a softy eye right there, but it gets a little hard. He's not real happy about the backup because it's pressure. Um, so just give me a minute, guys. It's pressure, good boy, Jay, around his face, which is his good boy. That is his um, flight zone, remember? Good. And so, yeah, come here. And he's never been properly trained, <laughs> meaning he's just had a big bit and been a cow horse. All right, so you guys are gonna pay more attention to Jay than me. Good, so we're pretty, we're doing excellent with our suffling. Come here, Baba. Good, he'll, yep, he'll drop his head for me, which is excellent. There, good, yep, good because eventually that's what I'd like him to do when I'm walking around on him. You want that big trusting stretch. Um, you know, as when he trots on the lunge or free lunge, he's all tight. He's tight here. This is getting better though. It's getting a little fishier and he's got that big U neck underneath that's getting better. Okay, so I'm gonna ask him to step forward. Good boy, Jay. I'm just gonna scooch my seat. I don't use any leg. A little smooch good boy good and then I'm gonna ask him to halt right in front of the camera come on babe good just using my seat good yep but you can't see how stressed his eye is right now you're good we're just gonna do this little I call it a seesaw we're just gonna go back and forth good boy until he gets more comfortable just like I can spend weeks sitting here on a horse suppling back and forth we're gonna do the backup good let him relax into that feel safe process it and we're gonna go forward we're just gonna keep playing with these thresholds good remember this is restarting the traumatized riding horse guys good boy and he's one of the most severest yeah he's a good boy he's a good boba okay babe good good boy i feel you tighten up and flinch when i smooch and the ears, look at his ears. Oh my gracious, they are all stressed and worried. So this is night and day. You know, when you see videos of his owner riding him around the property, you know, he's on a loose range, he's in her saddle, you know, his head, his neck is pretty level with his wither. It's not high, it's not low. And his ears are, you know, checking in, but forward. But he's got, you know, he's not with her. He's on autopilot. She can't get him to pick up. He either goes from a slow, tight walk, short strided walk to a slow, short strided jog trot. Um, same with his canner. So, you know, my job is to really get him to relax mentally and the body will start to flow with that. Um, so good boy. Yeah, good boy. 
So the opposite right now is, you know, he might have a really tight, short, high neck headset, but his ears are on me and his eyes keep checking in. So that's the complete opposite of where he was before and then something triggers him and he explodes. <laughs> we don't want that. So I have to make sure he's constantly on me. Yeah, it's a lot, you guys, but I love the minutia of this. Good boy. I love all the little things. Come on, the detail. Yeah, good. Oh, well, yeah, we're doing good. Yeah, so that's all pressure. And before he would take the pressure, but he would also check out. And then eventually things would just keep adding up for him, like opening the gate. That's where it happened for his owner. And she was, you know, doing everything she was taught and he was all tight and she just kept adding, good boy, kept adding more and more pressure and he flipped out. But we don't want that. We want him to be able to handle all of that and be confident and connected. Good boy. Good boy. This is excellent. Oh, big licks, guys. Oh, do we get big licks? Oh, we got big licks, Jay. Softy eye. And it's cool because he checks in more on the right and he's petrified and the accident happened on the right side. This is great. This is great. Oh, that neck is so tight. We need fleshy neck. We need fleshy neck. <laughs> Good boy. All right, I'm going to ask him forward again. Yeah. Good boy. And it's cool when you're bareback because you can feel everything underneath of you. And when we filmed the other day and I was starting to play with the back up and forward, just the other day, you know, he, he tightened. Sabrina could see it behind the camera. I mean, he tightened his back. I was like, ooh, we'll just stop right there. Um, for all the right reasons. Yeah, I don't want to get hurt, but it's it's there's a time to back off, you know? And I don't need to pressure him anymore when he's telling me, wow, man, I'm really having a hard time with this. There's time to just stop and let him let him sit with all of that. Good boy. Good boy. And the biggest thing for Jay with me is I'm I'm constantly on him. I'm constantly communicating with him. I will not let him check out. Yeah, he can't do that. All right. What? You want to go forward a little bit? I'm going to go to the left, guys. Come on, let's go around the mounting block. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. So it's really beautiful because all of my cues are with my mind, my seat, and I'm clucking a little bit because he gets a little checked out. So he's doing an amazing job listening to my seat and my focus, which I'm looking exactly where I want his feet. Love it. Good boy. Let's go around a couple times. Play it safe. Good boy. Good. Yep. This is nice. Nice, beautiful. Look how light and supple. Oops, I lost my balance. <laughs> Good boy, Jay. But look how responsive he's becoming. Now I know he's still tight and worried with his headset. But we'll get there guys look at this this is beautiful his owner could not ride him like this she you know couldn't put any contact around his face he was dead good side dead and uh unresponsive so she kept going back to the big tom thumb bit that he was used to because as soon as she put that on he dropped his head and she could ride with just one rein because he neck reins really well um, but that whole face contact was just is a huge stressor for him. Good boy. Let's go left again because that's your best side. Good boy. Yep. Good. Keep looking at me, Jay. Good. I'm right with you. Good boy, Jay. Good boy, Jay. Come, Beba. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Nice. Nice. He's stopping with energy, stopping with my seat, stuff that we work on in the lunge. This is beautiful, boo. All right, guys, I'm gonna go see if I can get a couple walks around here. Say a prayer, I don't get a, nothing bad happens. And I keep my mind on you. Let's go, boo. And let's go straight ahead, Baba. Good boy, come on, you can do it. You and me can do it. Good boy, Jay. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy, Baba.
really good. Row, row. Mm, that's pretty good, guys. If I can scream, good boy. And focused on Sabroso rubbing his butt on my fence and screamed and Jay stopped and tuned into me and looked at Sabroso. Thank you, bro. We just took care of that yesterday. I'll tell Clarissa to take a look at it again. Yeah, rubbing from the fungals. That was excellent. So I got to get big on top of him and he is so used to following my focus, my intention, my energy. Good. Good boy, let's go. Come on, boo, one more time. Good boy. so tight during our lunge. It's tight. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's our leg. Give me that leg. Give me that. Give me that. You're fine. What? You're good. See all the stimuli is getting them. You're good. I'm right here. I'm still connected to you. I could feel that, man. That electrocuted me. You're good. I love you for taking care of me. You are such a good boy. Come here. Oh, do, 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 do. There's our big leg. Yay! You're good. You're good. Yeah, you could handle all that stimulation. You're good. I got you, baby. I will always have you. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. Tune in for the next time. Wait till your mama gets this video. She's gonna be crying. She's gonna be crying. She's gonna be so happy. So happy. <laughs> Alright, cool. <gasps> as he sighs.